So welcome back to my channel and this is a brand new series that I'll be doing every single day going forward. As long as something's happened on this day, I'll be putting it into a video, letting you guys see the content and letting you guys learn a little bit of history that you may not know about or that you may know about. Um, some of the stuff I've seen, I've done a little bit of research going forward for the next couple of months and some of the stuff I didn't even know about. So um, I won't be taking it all the way back to the 1800s or nothing like that unless it was a very crucial day in our history um, but I will be doing from maybe the 60s 70s onwards to the latest news um, and the latest on this days um, but obviously if you are enjoying the content you can subscribe to my channel and I want to say a massive massive thank you to every single one of you that has left me a birthday message on my video from this morning um, literally hundreds and hundreds of comments. It's mad, I can't keep up with you guys at times. So I just wanna say thank you very much to that. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with on this day in 2013, Andre Arshavin, remember him? And leaving Arsenal on the 30th of June. Um, and when you look back at Arshavin's career at Arsenal, it left me feeling a little bit upset because this guy was an absolute baller. And I felt that he was wasted. He wasn't played in his right position often enough. Um, we all remember the four goals up at Anfield. Um, it didn't count for anything in the end. We ended up getting a draw. I think Yossi Benayoun equalised in stoppage time for Liverpool to make it four apiece. But this guy had some genuine raw talent. He, um, he also scored against Barcelona. Um, that gave us a 2-1 win at the Emirates. Wheeling away um, absolute scenes that night at the Emirates Stadium. We also remember the goal he scored up at Old Trafford as well. Another absolute banger. This geezer had one of the most powerful shots I have ever seen since watching football. He was a joy to watch at times, but his career fizzled out. He, he left Arsenal, he went back to Zenit St. Petersburg. Um, only played 35 games when he went back there. Um, after that, he ended up going to Krasnodar. Um, only played eight games for them. And then he went off to Kazakhstan to play for a team called Karat. Um, he played 84 games there before officially retiring from football. Um, but for Arsenal, he played 105 games, he scored 23 goals. And like I said, this guy had so much talent and ability, it was unbelievable. I remember when we signed this guy, it was um, between Arsenal and Tottenham who was going to get him. We were haggling over the fee, shock, that's what Arsenal do. And I remember him being snowed in at the airport in England, I think it was Heathrow or Gatwick. And there was pictures of him on his mobile phone um, at Gatwick or Heathrow, wherever it was. And we all thought the deal was dead. We didn't think it was going to happen. Um, a lot of Arsenal fans were upset over it. And then after the deadline had cut off, literally the next morning, we found out that the paperwork had got done in time and he was officially an Arsenal player. But if I was to sum up his career at Arsenal... Um, I think that he was wasted. I genuinely believe he was wasted as a footballer. Um, he was one of the best attacking midfielders I've seen at Arsenal. And like I said, he had bags and bags of ability. He was pushed out wide on the right. He was pushed out wide on the left. But when we did play him in the central attacking midfield position, I thought he was absolutely unplayable at times. You know, to score some of the goals he scored, like them ones up at Anfield, some of them goals were absolute bangers. And... He was um, massively missed when we, um, we got rid of him. He, he obviously went back home to Zenit. Um, massively, massively missed. And even to this day, I don't think that we've had a player with the ability and um, the skill set that he had. Yes, we've had some good players come in. That's no disrespect to the ones that have come in. But this guy was next level. And he had a fantastic, um, fantastic you know, run of games with Arsenal in terms of he played a lot of games. He wasn't injured an awful lot, but it just never happened. He never got put in his right position. And I suppose that's got to be down to the manager at the time. You know, he, he tried shoehorning him into the team in other areas. But, you know, him and Van Persie together, they were a joy to watch at times. So, yeah, on this day, it was announced that he was leaving. And um, there you go. On to the next one. Um, on this day in 1991... Um, Kwame Ampadu, uh, you guys may remember this guy, he was our youth team coach for a, a long period of time. Um, he was also the under-18s manager as well. Um, he left to go to West, uh, West Brom. He only played two games for Arsenal first team, um, which wasn't a lot for a midfielder coming through. 
Um, we sold him to West Brom on this day in 1991. Um, he ended up playing for another 16 years after he left Arsenal, sort of filtering down the leagues really. He played for West Brom, he then went to Swansea, Leighton Orient, um, Exeter, Newport and then finished up at Tiverton. Now his career wasn't great in terms of um, his footballing career. His managerial career has gone from strength to strength. Like I said, um, he, when he finished retiring, he retired from football. He had a two-year break. He then spent four years as Exeter's under-18s coach. Um, done really well with them. He then spent four years as Arsenal youth team coach. And then got two years as Arsenal under-18s coach. And seen some fantastic players come through at the time. After that, he joined Thierry Henry at Monaco. He was the assistant manager at Monaco. And to this day, he still is the assistant manager at Monaco. It didn't quite work out with Thierry Henry. Whatever happened, happened. Um, they signed Cesc Fabregas. A couple of days later, Thierry Henry gets sacked as manager of Monaco. But um, all in all, this guy's managerial career was better than his footballing career. And that tends to happen a lot in football. A lot of players ain't cutting the mustard. So they go and test their hand at coaching and managing. And a lot of them make it. They do really well. The most notable ones are Arsene Wenger and Jose Mourinho. They didn't have great footballing careers. But they were fantastic coaches in, in, in their day and on their time. So, you know, he, um, he had a, 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 fairly, um, a fairly poor career in football in terms of playing, but managing he's been fantastic. Now, also, his son, Nathan Ampadu, is on the books at Chelsea. Um, he was on the bench in the Europa League final, um, the final they beat us a couple of days ago last week. Um, and he's a very, very talented player. Um, I think he's got a big future in the game. But we shall see, Chelsea have got thousands of kids on their books. Um, how many of them actually make it at Chelsea is minimal. But I don't know. But like I said, you know, on Sh Arshavin, fantastic player. Ampadu, not the greatest Arsenal player, only played two games. But he's done fantastic things for our youth set up. And um, he's been a mainstay in getting that structure at the club to the point where our kids are now winning trophies again. Um, and he has had a hand in that, let's be real. Um, I think he's played a big, big part in how we've set up as a football club in the youth levels of the game. Um, and going forward, that can only be a good thing. He's very, very good at coaching and getting players to do what he wants to do and improving players. And let's be real, when you're a young kid and you're trying to make your way in the game and you're trying to apply your trade and get into that first team, you know, you've got to listen to some of the experienced heads around you and you've got to make sure that you take in what they give you. And he's done that. You know, we've seen the likes of Maitland Niles coming through, Joe Willock coming through, um, other players as well along the way, you know. So fair play to him. Um, wish him well at Monaco. And um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Before I go, like I said, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Um, the views have been going mad. The subscribers have been going mad. The comments are lit as always. And this is something that I will be doing every single day at nine o'clock going forward. Um, when the transfer window shuts, I'm going to switch it around slightly, but these videos will still continue. I'll just change the time slot on them. Um, but like I said, there is something that I am going to do every single day. As long as there's something that has happened on this day in Arsenal's history, no matter how big or small it is, I'll have it covered on my channel. So um, please share the content around. Um, subscribe if you're new as well. And um, thanks very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow morning with my daily transfer update. And thank you very much to everyone who's left comments on that, my birthday wishes and all that. Um, I haven't had a chance as yet to go through them all. When I do get a chance, I'll try and reply to as many as I can. But my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube, it has been going mad. And I've literally only just sat down now to record this video. So, um, like I said, thank you very much to everybody who's taken part in my channel. It's going from strength to strength. And um, I want to make it as big as I possibly can. At the end of the day, it's something I'm passionate about doing. I love talking about football. And um, without you guys subscribing and commenting and having an input on my videos, I wouldn't be sat here making them. So big up every single one of you as well. Really, really appreciate it. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow um, in the morning with my daily transfer update. My live stream is normal around 4.35 o'clock. And then the next on this day, tomorrow's is going to be a good one as well. There's quite a bit that happened tomorrow um, on this day. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Stick the notification bells on as well. Um, and I'll be out of here. Laters, peeps.